Sam, great to have you on the show again. A resounding victory, a big vote of confidence in this team. Oh, absolutely. I, apart from the first 35 minutes where we had to rely on uh, Jordan Pickford to keep us in the game and not go, go a goal down with some uh, fantastic saves. I think that uh, England then took control, particularly when the first goal went in. And I'm really impressed with the quality again of England's goals tonight. The three goals were a lot like the, uh, the first game against Iran. Quality football, quick, precise football, going through the lines as quickly as possible and some excellent finishing at the end of all that. So it was a very comfortable victory in the end. And of course, like I said, we needed Mr Pickford to begin with. And then after that, it was uh, easy pickings with Senegal. Of course, nothing's ever easy, but it looked, it looked easy tonight in the end. Uh, what are your thoughts about the next round? The, my thoughts about the next round, if you beat France, you'll win the World Cup. I think it'll give the, England that much confidence. I watched France today and this will be their toughest test and Gareth's toughest test, I think, since he's been manager of the England team because uh, uh, they were very, very comfortable. And, uh, of course, Mbappé particularly is... Uh, we have some really outstanding players, uh, but this lad is right up there with the very, very best. So we need to pay special attention to him. And, of course, uh, Giroud was the leading goal scorer in France at the international level. In the box, we need to take care of him. So defensively, we'll be tested more than ever before. But certainly France will have a lot to worry about with the form of our front play at the moment. Which is the more talented team, England or France? Wow, that's a very, very good question. I've always said that England have the most talented squad. Um, I think that's um, certain from my point of view. And I think at this moment in time, they've got right up there along with France. And of course, we still can't rule out Brazil and Argentina yet, but uh, certainly we're right up there with those. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's certainly got to be a hope. And listen, Senegal are, are not a team without class, without pedigree, Sam. Not at all. I mean, most of their players play throughout Europe and quite a few in the Premier League, of course. So um, I had uh, my, old, uh, my old player, El Adjouf, on to me this week saying that they were, <laughs> we were going to, they were going to beat England, like you mean, because he played for me at Bolton. But uh, obviously we... Uh, we put them to, uh, to put them to rest pretty easily in the end and uh, with a very comfortable victory, a very impressive performance. So it's all, it's all guns blazing for us. We'll, uh, we've rode the criticism, or Gareth and the lads have rode the criticism after, after the USA and are, are beginning to come into better and better form. And, and I think the unity of the squad, you know, when you look at the celebration of the goals and how these lads seem to be getting on together, I think that can help in terms of pushing forward the mentality and uh, hopefully go as far as we possibly can all the way to the final. Sam, you've managed at the very highest level. You've delivered for so many clubs. You're used to getting teams ready for big games and big finals. So how would you be preparing England right now off the back of tonight's performance? I would be... I, this, will be this will be physically... They don't need anything. I think they're right, they're right there, right to that level. Recovery time, first and foremost. And then it's straight into tactics. Tactically, Gareth has to pick the best team to face France. That's to make maybe a changes again. I think he's started to utilise the squad brilliantly. Certainly that proven the right thing to do tonight. So I think tactically, you'll see a different approach to England and maybe one or two changes. So... They need to uh, obviously stop the most dangerous players France have, French have, but also go out, all out to try and expose France's weaknesses. And that will be on the training ground or in the analysis room, looking at the strengths and weaknesses of France and doing a little bit of practice to, to get together on how they're going to play against them. Uh, now, as you'll have heard in my introduction, Big Sam, there are reports, it's a developing story, that one of the England players, Raheem Sterling, has left the squad in Qatar. He's left the camp after a break-in that occurred at his London home whilst his family, we're told, uh, were at home. Um, a very, very worrying situation, of course. I think you'll join me in uh, wishing his family uh, the best in uh, handling that situation. 
Um, what will that do to the camp? And, of course, that will be a nightmare for Rahim himself. Well, I think they'll, uh, they'll, they will all try and get behind him, send messages, hope he's um, wishing him well and his family well. Obviously, it's extremely upsetting because it only comes round once every four years, the World Cup, and for him to leave the squad now. But, of course, family is the most important thing. And, of course, things like this seem to be happening on a more regular basis. Burglaries with family members in the house is extremely worrying, going all across the country at the moment. So I hope they uh, catch whoever's did it. But I certainly, first and foremost, hope that Ryan Sterling's family is, is, is OK. Uh, now, Big Sam, you're uh, in very, very fine fettle. You're still a young man. <coughs> I'm certain you've got another big job in you if you want to do football. <laughs> but in the meantime, you've got a little bit of a side hustle. Uh, Holly, let's I know, you like this, it? Uh, this rather handsome devil, right? David Gandhi, <laughs> eat your heart out. Uh, big Sam in a big Christmas jumper. Uh, tell me more. Oh, well, that's an advert I've done for George, the, the Asda chain, um, of course. And I think that, uh, for me, it shows that you can get some very good gear at a very, very reasonable price for Christmas. And that's why I actually did the advert, to coincide with the World Cup. But the uh, the quality of the gear and, and the, certain the prices uh, run along with most people's budgets. And I think that's very important with Christmas coming up. So go and get your gear from George. I completely agree. I love me a bit of George at Asda. I've got to say, other supermarkets and clothing stores are available, but only one of them's got the exclusive services of Big Sam Allardyce, a proven winner. Uh, briefly, Sam, what would it mean for the country if we could go all the way? It would be historic, Mark, because we've got the, we've got the girls, the women's football team, winning the Euros. And, uh, and if we can turn that around to the men's get into the World Cup final and actually winning it, it will be it will be groundbreaking the, the, the best time we've had in football since sixty six, of course.